Hi, it's me Gabe Alcala here from Advanced Test Equipment Corp. And today we're going to be doing a how-to video on Wave Control's new SMP3 broadband survey meter. Along with the meter, we're going to be trying out and showing you guys how to use their 60 gigahertz E-Field broadband probe, their 1 hertz to 10 megahertz ENH field selective probe, and their DC to 40 kilohertz static field probe. Speaking of probes, here is the current list of available probes by frequency range and field type. Uh, this is the current list, but Wave Control will likely add probes in the future, so please sure to visit their website for more information on new probes. And these are the standard accessories. Just keep in mind the field probes are rented and sold separately from the meter. For our next demonstration, we're going to actually show you guys how to do the 60 gigahertz E-field probe. And before we plug it in, we're actually going to show you what the SMP3 meter looks like. So it has a color display. You're going to have the AC adapter input port, a tripod mount, a fiber optic link connections, and then the USB connection to download your test results. Um, and over here on the business end is where you're going to connect the RF probe. So I have our 60 gigahertz probe right here. It's an FCC shape probe, so I'm going to screw it on and then turn on the meter. Quickly recognize which probe you have connected to the device and its serial number. I can go into some of the other settings such as um, creating a, a log so measure the uh, timed event that you could download later let's cancel that I can change the units I can change around the FCC general public or the FCC occupational but I'll leave it as the FCC occupational and now I'm actually gonna put on a small e-field in this e-field chamber so as you can see here the device started measuring about five percent of the FCC occupational limit standard so if I were to create a, a screenshot I'd press the screenshot button if I'm gonna record I'm gonna press this log And I'm going to let it run for a few seconds here. Hit stop. And then I could download the report later. But it's essentially how the meter and probe work for the E-Field Probe broadband measurements. Next, we're going to do the ENH Field Selective Probe. For our next demonstration, we're going to be connecting a WP10M, which is a 1 hertz to 10 megahertz ENH field selective probe. So as you can see here, that's the label. We're going to turn on the SMP3. Give a couple seconds to fire up. And right behind the meter, we have a cell phone wireless charger set up. So once the meter is on, we should be measuring the field as we get the probe a little closer to it so as you can see there the meter starts to pick up the field from the wireless charger I can also go into the menu and change the modes from FFT to frequency log or I can change it to time Or I can change the limits. So right now I'm the ignorant 
2010 public. But I'm going to change it to one of these other standards. For our final demonstration, we have connected the SMP3 static measurement field probe. So it is the model WPHDC, which is a 0 hertz to 40 kilohertz measurement probe. Right now I have the 0 gauss chamber installed, but I'm going to take it off after I turn it on and it zeroes it out. Give it a second here. And I have a large magnet behind that we're actually be using to generate the magnetic field. So after the unit's on, currently I have it on the time method, but I'm going to take off the zero gauss chamber. As you can see up, the field gets much larger as I move it closer to this magnet. I could also go here and change the mode to an FFT mode. Or frequency log. And I can change the bandwidth as well as the span. the range and of course I could do screenshots and log the data. Please make sure to reach out to ATEC if you have questions about test equipment rentals, sales, or calibration. You can visit our website at www.atecorp.com.